My name is Brian Zinzer. I'm a marketing instructor at Lake Superior State University. The learning module you're about to view is about attitude change and social judgment theory. It contains two parts. Part one is a primer on attitude change using social judgment theory. Part two is an opportunity to apply what you know about social judgment theory to the case Students for a Democratic AU. Social judgment theory is a persuasion theory proposed by Musafir Sharif and Carl Hovland. It is useful for explaining why people develop strong attitudes or opinions on social issues. It also explains why persuasion is often difficult to accomplish, and it offers a common sense approach for trying to persuade in the real world. The theory is fairly easy to understand and is based on five key principles. Principle one, we have categories of judgment by which we evaluate persuasive positions. Two, when we receive persuasive information, we locate it on our categories of judgment. Three, our level of ego involvement affects the size of our latitudes. Four, we tend to distort incoming information to fit our categories of judgment. And five, small to moderate discrepancies between our anchor positions and the one advocated will cause us to change. Large discrepancies will not. We'll now look at each of these principles in a little more depth. Principle one is that we have these categories of judgment by which we evaluate persuasive positions. According to social judgment theory, we can categorize each position into one of three zones. One is the latitude of acceptance, or zone of positions which we will accept. The second one is the latitude of non-commitment, or a zone of positions we neither accept nor reject, and the third being the latitude of rejection, or the zone of positions we will almost automatically reject. Within the latitude of acceptance is contained all the positions on a particular topic that we will find acceptable. Within this latitude, there is one special position called the anchor position. This is the single position that a person finds the most acceptable of all. It may be the most extreme position, but the anchor could also be a milder position. At some border point, we no longer accept some position, but we don't reject it either. We are now in the latitude of non-commitment. This contains things about which we have no real opinion. As we move out of the latitude of non-commitment, we reach the second border. As we cross this border, we begin to enter the latitude of rejection. This contains the positions on an issue that we reject. Consider this example. Should alcohol use be permitted by legal age students attending a Christian college? The range of positions one could take on this topic might look something like this. These five positions appear to express a reasonable range of alcohol use policy positions a person could take. Within the latitude of acceptance is contained all the positions on a particular topic that we find acceptable. For many Christians, the first one or two statements in our example are probably acceptable and hence would fall into their latitude of acceptance. Within this latitude, there is one special position called the anchor. This is the single position that a person finds that most acceptable of all. It may be the most extreme position, absolutely essential, but the anchor could also be a milder position, almost certain. At some border point, we no longer accept some position, but we don't reject it either. We are now in the latitude of non-commitment, this contains things about which we have no real opinion. With our example, it is probable that some Christians would rate the middle position, difficult to say, as being in their latitude of non-commitment. 
alcohol use is simply a neutral issue for the person. As we move out of the latitude of non-commitment, we reach the second border. As we cross this border, we begin to enter the latitude of rejection. This contains the positions on an issue that we reject. Continuing with our example, many Christians would, without doubt, find alcohol use unacceptable and place the bottom statements in the latitude of rejection. Likewise, many Christians would find the latter statements to be within the latitude of acceptance. When we read or hear a statement about student alcohol use, we will first determine which of our latitudes, whether it be acceptable, rejection, or non-committal, it belongs in. Social judgment theory suggests that individuals make these judgments as they receive the information. Thus, how people judge is an important first step in the persuasion process. When a piece of information is judged by an individual in his latitude of rejection, persuasion is extremely difficult, if not impossible. Judgments of non-commitment and acceptance offer a possibility for changing one's attitude or opinion. Ego involvement means how important an issue is to one's self-image or identity. An ego-involving topic is one that defines who we are and addresses critical aspects of ourselves. For example, the topic of alcohol use is an ego-involving topic for many Christians. It is stated in 1 Corinthians, or, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. This and other passages warning against drunkenness have been considered sufficient reason for some Christians advocating complete abstinence from the use of alcoholic beverages. Many Christians believe they are called to a higher standard of self-control and self-denial concerning those things not beneficial to his or her physical and spiritual well-being. This is also supported by the Apostle Paul in Romans. While the use or abstinence of alcoholic beverages runs the spectrum from being served in student unions in some Catholic colleges, most colleges which identify as being Christian colleges have a total prohibition or abstinence of the use of alcoholic beverages. For the Christian who is a devout Southern Baptist or member of a holiness, fundamentalist, or Pentecostal denomination, there will likely be only one acceptable position. It is absolutely essential from all considerations that alcohol use by students should not be permitted. All other positions, even more moderate ones, are likely to fall into the latitude of rejection. The more ego involved in an issue one becomes, the latitude of rejection gets larger and the latitudes of acceptance and non-commitment get smaller. Many Christians claim we have the truth on consumption of alcohol with beverages and everything else is wrong. In other words, the issue is black and white or right or wrong. Social judgment theory states that people distort incoming messages depending upon the anchor position they hold on a given issue. If incoming messages fall within the latitude of acceptance and are close to one's anchor position, then people will assimilate the new position. If incoming messages fall outside one's latitude of acceptance, then people will contrast that new position. That is, they will push the new position even farther away from themselves and make it seem worse than it really is. Assimilation and contrast tend to distort the position of the new information. No persuasion or attitude change actually takes place. If one contrasts, one pushes the new information out of his latitude of acceptance and most likely into the latitude of rejection. If one assimilates, he pulls the new information towards his anchor position and make it seem like it is already a position he accepts. According to social judgment theory, it is difficult to change people's attitudes. If new information or messages are judged to fall within one's latitude of rejection, persuasion cannot occur. If one is ego-involved in the issue, his latitude of rejection is larger than usual and it is more difficult to persuade. 
Finally, individuals tend to distort new information through a simulation and contrast. For persuasion to occur, the following must happen. Messages must fall in the latitude of acceptance. Messages must be different from the anchor position. And messages cannot be assimilated or contrasted. That concludes part one of Attitude Change and Social Judgment Learning Module. You may now go to part two for an interactive learning exercise where you'll be able to apply your knowledge of social judgment theory to a real life case. Please.